Hey everybody, welcome back to the Engineered Angler. Uh, I was sitting here looking at the stuff I have laying around and I realized when I made that last video on the build for this particular uh, lure turner, I didn't go into too much detail. I did show how I built it, but I didn't talk about if you're gonna build it yourself, what to focus on, what to look out for. Also, I didn't really show you my pro version. Uh, this is the version I like to use. It's a little more sophisticated, a little harder to build, not much. Uh, the big difference is the springs and the springs here too. Uh, and I'll show you why I put those in uh, in a moment. Let me show you. If you go to build this one, uh, first of all, watch the video. I'll put the link right here. You can click on this link or click on the link at the end of the video. If you go to build this, two things to keep in mind. One is don't make these don't make these legs too long. These are about as long as you ever want to make them. The longer you make them, the bigger the lure, but also the more difficult it is to align these two spindle heads. Also, keep the weight down on top. Don't try not to put anything really heavy, like you don't want a, a heavy knob. This is actually a pretty elegant solution. As tacky looking as it is, it actually is lightweight, easy to put on. It's got nice little knurlings. It's actually a, an easy build and pretty doggone useful. Here's the key though, when you go to use it, put on this lure, when you go to use it, the idea is to get these things al as aligned as possible. So you might have to work on how uh, your base is set up so you get the best alignment you can. And so what I usually do is just kind of arc these out a little bit and you get a pretty good alignment and you get to turn it. If it's way out of alignment, it, it really really hard to turn so try to get it so it aligns and the key to that is getting the flexiest part uh, near the top so that head will flex so the flexiest handles you can find those are the ones used on this one let me show you this one with a slightly larger lure so you can kind of see the uh how this up you can see is way out of alignment so i just rotate this out and you can see the springs curve to allow that alignment and now it, it spins real easy. So when you go to build your own, focus on that. Make sure you can uh, get that alignment. Try to keep the weight down up here because the heavier the weight up here is, the more likely the, um, the, the legs will fail if you've got a heavy lure on it. And remember, you can always go back to the tried and true kind of guillotine looking thing that uh, is easy to build and fits a lot of different sizes. You can spring load it. So you can get it on there simple and, and, and rotate it. So this was just a quick video just to give you a little more in, information on building these things and what to look out for and what to focus on. So if you use it at all, just keep in mind what I've just given you. And uh, good luck. <laughs> Thanks for watching.